What's going on guys? Today I'm going to give you a little shop tour around our farm real quick. Um, so you start off, sort of like tool corner, it's pretty messy right now, just basic stuff, air compressor, grinder, all those sorts, just all that. Got some storage up there, just more storage, all that stuff, all that good stuff. Um, this corner we got a couple things, we got the Colta Packer, uh, and then a three point uh, spreader, and then we got the three point uh, pallet fork and the quick hitch for the three point. Um, some weed eaters around the barn. <coughs> Right here is our four row planter. It's John Deere 7000, as you can see. Um, then, right here, we got our Polaris and the Geo. Got the Geo Tracker. And uh, the Polaris is a 2009, I think, 700 XP. And it's actually only got like not even 600 uh, hours on it. It's uh, a little mower for around the farm. More storage. Um, this is my truck. This is a 2005 Toyota Tacoma. It's got two inch lift in the front and uh, 285 by 70, 17 tires, and an inch and a half wheel spacers on it. And it's a four cylinder five speed. It's pretty fun to drive around, honestly. Uh, this is the New addition to the farm, it's a Bush Hog 2615 Batwing. It's a 15 footer. Um, just tested it out. It run pretty good. It's better than what we had before. Uh, it's a little junk Suzuki uh, four wheeler. And then a sprayer three point John Deere, looks like. Let's see. And then we got the 4040. It is a John Deere 4040 with the front loader on it. Um, let's see, with the bucket and everything, so I get up in here, oh, yep, pretty basic 40 series tractor, it's got the ABCD 1, 2, 3, 4, and uh, two reverses, just basic, and then the quick shift, obviously got the bucket controls, arm controls, Yep, pretty basic. Runs pretty good. AC is cold. I mean, what more can you ask? Um, yep, that's about it from here. Just got shined up with this all the other video. Well, shined up with a paper towel and a water bottle. But it looks decent enough. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Some more stuff. Some diesel tank over there. Buzzsaw. All right, let's take a trip into the living quarters real quick. <laughs> uh, this is the living quarters. Just has fridge, microwave, and storage. A little storage spot back there in the bunk beds. Can't just put these up not too long ago. And then uh, got an AC unit out of like a hotel. Looks pretty good. All right, it just stopped raining, so hopefully we're not gonna get too wet, but I'll show you the last couple things here real quick. Uh, yeah, it's, it's been a pretty good farm, so that's we've had it for, shoot, I don't even know, like over, my dad bought it like 10, maybe 10 years ago or so. All right, coming up to it, we got a three-point John Deere 1418. That's a 14-foot three-point mower. It's actually our uncle's, and it's actually a piece of junk it always breaks down on us that's why we got the bush hog um then we got a john deere 111 there's some thunder for you uh 111 eight foot disc and that's what we disc the plots with uh works pretty well maybe thinking of uh upsizing soon but yep yeah just rained neighbors just got the beans out over there and actually by their place over there but yesterday um yeah so here's the building it's a 60 by 40 and amish built got two doors on it for this uh, access on the door got the wide doors on the side for the garage door um, 
So land-wise, uh, where we're standing right now comes down to that tree line and comes all the way up here. That's 102 acres, that's like the main part of the farm. And then we own 27 acres south here, just across the road. Um, then just past that tree line, we own a 40. Yep, oh, we got dish too. Um, let's see here. Then our uncle owns the next piece, which is an 80 acres over there. Uh, it's basically deer hunting ground, and we got a, a lot of land in like CRP and uh, actually like a pheasant safes program, so it's just creating habitat for pheasants and quail. But yep, it comes all the way from up here over there. And let's see. Yep, just a lot of a lot of grass really. We used to have it rented out to uh, some of the neighbors for corn and beans obviously, but um, we stopped doing that, put it in the pheasant safe program because we gotta save the pheasants around here. And uh, you can see there's a little food plot down there, that's beans and uh, sorghum. Then we got past those trees is a food plot that's a uh, it's clover and uh, like turnips. Got a couple other food plots going. There's one actually right on this strip, and I think somewhere over there, somewhere over there, um, and on the south side right there. Yeah. Well, that about wraps it up. Um, yeah. I, that's about it. Good one. Of course.